And if you know me, you know I'm a seasonal hoe. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Kara Corey here, registered dietitian, and I am bringing to you on this evening, you may not be watching it on an evening, but it's an evening for me, a little Trader Joe's haul. And I would like to preface this haul before we get into what I picked, because I feel like I am the queen of picking up random shit. I'm just gonna put it out there right now. And, you know, in one of the last, like, grocery haul videos I did, I gave you guys tips on, like, being on a budget and going to the store with a plan and having meals planned out so you don't just buy a whole cart of random things. Yeah, I didn't do that tonight, you guys. I basically, here's what I do. I go to Trader Joe's, like, once a month. I re-up on my cauliflower gnocchis, and last time I went, they didn't have them, so I knew they had them this time. I went specifically for that purpose, but then I also just wanted to find some fun, different, easy, convenient style stuff. So health was not on my mind tonight. I already have like a, a fridge, a pantry filled with groceries. I did not need all $80 worth of what I bought tonight is what I'm telling you. So I'm just putting it out there. This was just me kind of like looking around, picking out some fun things. But without further ado, we're gonna jump right on into this video. But before we do that, actually, let's make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We have a good time over here. We do a lot of good, fun things. And I am here as your free resource, essentially. I am your free dietitian. I am here to help you guys out as best as I can. I do try to lead by example, and that's balancing some fun things in once in a while too. So make sure you're subscribed to also go ahead and hit that post notifications bell. That's just gonna let you know each and every time I upload because I am usually here a couple days a week, not always the same days of the week. And sometimes YouTube's a wee bit funny and you guys may not get notified of when my videos are posted or you may not see them come up in your feed. So please do hit that bell. And if you want, just like, like the video right now, actually. I mean, if you're having a good time with me already, hit the like button and that also helps out the channel. Getting right into all the fun things I picked tonight. So I felt like a crazy lady. I was just like going, I, this is what I do. I get that cart and I go straight for the cauliflower gnocchi. I knew they had it though because my sister was recently there and told me they were fully stocked. And I also did put a Instagram story post up today asking you guys who are friends with me on Instagram what I should buy. So I'm not gonna lie, a lot of things I bought, you guys told me to buy. So this is kinda, it's for you. Um, but someone else locally did tell me that they were fully stocked, so I wasn't panicked. Um, but I did grab five bags of these. Usually I grab like four or five bags of these. They last me a while. There's two and a half servings in here. I usually eat a full serving when I do eat these. It's a full cup. And if you guys are new here, just to put it on repeat, I love these in the air fryer. I don't like them cooked on the stove top with oil and, and sauce. It's not my way to go. I love them just cooked in the air fryer for eight to 10 minutes at 375. They come out like little sweet little pieces of heaven that taste like potato. I put a little pink salt on those and they are my favorite. Five bags of those bad boys. Next was someone's recommendation, and they said they like them on the cauliflower gnocchi, so maybe I'll give that a try. It's the Aut Autumnal, Autumnal Harvest. I just thought it was Autumn Harvest. Autumnal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce made with pumpkin and butternut squash. The ingredients look phenom on it, and the macros aren't too shabby either. I mean, who can't use a little pasta sauce laying around? You never know what you need it for. So I probably will try this out on my gnocchi. Um, I do still have leftover spinach, spinach egg noodle pasta from Aldi's. If you watched that haul, if you didn't, you can go check it out after this video. Um, maybe we'll put a little card in the video for you. I don't know if Jay will remember to do that, but you can go watch that video after. That pasta was super good. So maybe I'll use this on that pasta actually. All right, the only couple things I did grab in the produce section, we do already have fruit at home, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity to grab some pomegranate seeds because they are way cheaper there than my typical Wegmans trip, and you can't always find them already 
seeded for you, already out of the pomegranate, which makes life so much easier. It also makes life more expensive, but these are just organic pomegranate seeds. I really love them this time of year. I just find them to be such a fun flavor mixed in with any kind of squash. So wherever my squash peeps are at, add in the pomegranate seed flavor. It just adds a little bit of sweet, a little bit of crunch, and a little bit of health in there. And I love it. It's just, I don't know, that combo is everything. So if you have yet to try that, please do try that out. So I grabbed that. The other thing that was hiding in the produce section, I was very glad that I caught it, um, was the cauliflower, oops, the cauliflower tabbouleh. That's a really big container, actually. If you can see, it's like freaking the size of my head, man but this has three and a half servings in it. I bought this previously, maybe last year, the year before, so it must be something they bring back in seasonally because I don't see it all year round, but it does just taste like regular tabbouleh if you like the flavors of tabbouleh. So if you like kind of the parsley, lemon juice, mint type flavor, um, instead of the actual pasta, they use cauliflower, there's tomato in there, um, a little bit of, virgin olive oil. So tastes just like your typical tabbouleh salad. Really good macros on it. I like it because you can have tabbouleh and it adds some fiber in the diet. You know, a little bit more filling too that way. So this is just something I'll eat cold, like as a side maybe with a meal, just kind of something fun to have on hand. Or if I'm feeling lazy one day, it's something very easy that you can eat quickly. There's no preparation involved, which is nice. One of you guys told me to buy this and I now need you to tell me what the heck to do with it because I don't buy a lot of dips. I'm like a hummus guac girl. You know, I grew up on Lay's potato chips and French onion dip, hell of a good in case you're curious. Um, but I don't know what to do with this. This is organic creamy cashew fiesta dip, dairy free cheese dip alternative. That sounds disgusting to me, but I have heard so many people talk about this. And so I'm just like super curious. The ingredients are very interesting. It's cashews, potatoes, carrots, onions, chili peppers, tomato paste, salt, vinegar, gar garlic powder, and jalapeno pepper. So really great ingredients there, but I'm just kind of curious how it's gonna taste as a cheese dip and what do I do with it? Like, cause I didn't buy nacho chips. So I mean, someone tell me how I can use this. And if it's any good, do I eat it cold? Do I eat it, do I heat it up? I'm used to cheese dips that I would heat up and stick chips in. Is that what I do with this? Or is there something healthier you recommend? You guys tell me, I'm looking for recommendations here. So yes, if you have tried this, then please let me know down below your favorite way to eat it, what I need to do with it. So that was another grab. Um, I grabbed, and you guys told me to grab this too, but I have had it, I love it. Um, I'm not dairy free, but I do love the almond mozzarella cheese alternative. It's got like a really fun consistency to it. And I do like the flavor of it as well. Um, macros aren't bad in it either. Um, I like it more so, not for like melting. I feel like it doesn't melt very well. I do have my butternut squash pizza crust in the freezer still. So I'm thinking maybe I could even use the harvest sauce in this and make a pizza, even though the cheese doesn't melt. Or I'm just gonna use it in eggs. Like I really love adding a little bit of cheese to eggs. So this will be kind of nice to have on hand for like some scrambled eggs. I do feel like it has more flavor than a normal mozzarella cheese. I don't know if that's weird, but I feel like you can, I don't know, not really taste the almonds in it, but it just has more to it. So whatever, I like it. We grabbed that. I never touched the little tasting station in Trader Joe's, but they were sampling out one of the things you guys recommended to me, which was their turkey cranberry meatballs. And if you know me, you know I'm a seasonal hoe and I need all things seasonal. So I was like, turkey cranberry meatballs, come to mama. So I tried it out, it was delicious. And I don't normally buy like a ton of already processed meats. I normally do, as I sit here with another thing of processed meat, but whatever. I um, really enjoyed these. I thought it tasted really good. He put one of their, like their cranberry jam on it. It was almost too sweet for me, quite honestly, but I thought these would be great. You guys told me to air fry these. So you know how I feel about my air fryer. So we're gonna try these out in the air fryer. And I, since I already had the flavor, I can vouch that they are worth it.
So we got that. I did end up grabbing some lean ground beef. They have the 96.4 there and my other grocery store was out of lean beef earlier this week. Make it into patties, throw it in the air fryer. You got yourself four hamburgers. Hamburglers, I used to call it as a kid. My mom will love that. Um, throw those in the air fryer, they're great. Or I like making it up as crumble um, on the pan. I'll usually cook it up all at once because be careful with your beef. Usually it's got a use by date with the ground beef. Ground cannot stick around as long. So you've usually got to use it within a day or two. Just a little food safety tip for you guys. Make sure you do cook that up timely. So I've got that. I did grab um, with my love for cheese. I love this. This is a seasonal one. This is the fresh goat cheese. The cranberry version, they have a fig version too. I was very drawn to, but I do not need two logs of goat cheese because I will eat two logs of goat cheese. Um, but I do like this. This is so great spread on their water crackers. I didn't grab any of those, but if you do go to Trader Joe's, delicious, a little thin spread on their water cracker. I do like to take this and crumble it up in a salad. So. Um, I've got that beet dressing from Aldi's with this and some arugula and gr greens. Yes, excited for that. Very, very tasty. I did grab some bread. This is a new one. They always have so many different breads. You have to be careful. Their dates on these, they're not very long because most of these, I believe, come out of the freezer. So I probably will have to pop this bad boy back in the freezer. It is their sprouted wheat sour dough bread made with organic sprouted wheat berries. I did grab that because I haven't done toast in a while and I love toast for breakfast or just a snack. And in particular, the kind of toast I like is to put a little bit of whipped cream cheese on it. And then what I grabbed, not one, but two different varieties here. If you guys remember fish toast? I freaking love fish toast. Sounds nasty, but it's delish. So I normally get this. So I grabbed one, the wild sockeye smoked salmon on top of the toast with a little whipped cream cheese. There's only a couple servings in here. So I did also grab this one because I've heard really good things about it. I mean, if you love the everything but the bagel seasoning, it's just that on top of salmon. However, this one is farm raised and I do normally like the wild. Um, so I grabbed one of each just so I had enough for my toast. It's a great way to have a little high protein breakfast, a little something different than your typical like eggs for breakfast. And if you're like myself, a lot of us do struggle with getting in enough protein at breakfast. So oftentimes we don't think of having fish at breakfast and this is a great way to incorporate it, get in some good healthy fats as well. Uh, last couple of biddies we got here. This was a new find. This is the Harvest Spaghetti Squash Spirals. It's spaghetti squash spirals. Also has chunks of butternut squash and a seasonal tomato sauce. So this is just kind of like a fun, quick and easy side. If I'm, you know, feeling lazy once again and just want like something filling and hearty and warm and comforting, this just sounds rather delightful. This was on my list. You guys love this as well. This is the Reduced Guilt Mac and Cheese. Grabbed one of these just to have on hand. I like these quick and easy meals on hand. Something soft, something warm for when I'm feeling lazy, when I just need to throw something in my bag to bring to work and have on hand there. It's, um, it tastes, tastes great. And actually, I usually when I eat these, I sometimes add a little more protein to it. I'll add some ground beef to it and even put a little low sugar ketchup on it. It's kind of like, I don't know, sounds gross. I think it tastes delicious, so. Um, then I did grab some organic sweet Italian chicken sausage. I love Trader Joe's for their selection of sausages. I know that's random, but they have a really great selection of sausages. And I do try to get ones that, in terms of the ingredients, it doesn't have too much crap added in there. I do like having these to throw in the air fryer it's a real quick, easy source of protein. It's a little something different I can eat again at breakfast time to kind of put a little more protein into the beginning of my day. I just find that for me that that helps start my day off feeling a little bit more full, satisfied. I'm able to kind of function and go out, go throughout the day a little bit better and feeling more satisfied. So having enough protein in the breakfast definitely helps me out. So I've never tried these ones before. We'll see if they're any good. 
And then, last but not least, super excited. I had to stop and take a picture and message Jason. Wegmans has been out of Brazil nuts ever since I told you guys about Brazil nuts and that they're great for selenium. Like, I don't know if I have a lot of locals that follow me and, and y'all are just like hiding somewhere and not talking to me, but the Brazil nuts, they have been out at Wegmans. So I'll like go in the bulk aisle and the whole thing is empty. The other week I went in there and they had removed the entire Brazil nut container. Go in there the week after, they put a different nut in there. So they're not even replacing my Brazil nuts. I'm sorry, I know you're probably not as passionate about that as I am, but we've not been able to find them anywhere else. And Trader Joe's, they were able to save the day. They sell, they actually have a really great selection of not of nuts for not too expensive, if you will. So this was $6.99, but Brazil nuts do tend to be a bit more expensive, but usually Jay and I just eat like one a day, one or two a day, you're good to go. So this will last us a while. Snacky kind of find. I have bought somewhat similar to these before. Trader Joe's now sells like your veggie chips that are dehydrated. They don't add anything else to them, but sea salt, which is rather nice. They, add, they have like beet chips and other things, but these are the dehydrated rainbow carrots. And a whole bag is one and a half fat, 28 carbs, 11 grams of fiber, what? And three protein, six grams of sugars. So don't tell me that carrots are too high in sugar. Don't even come at me with that. Six grams of sugar, get over yourself, people. But what a great little snacky, crunchy treat. You can eat that whole bag. Who doesn't like knowing you can eat a whole bag of something and just feel good about it and probably take a good poop the next day. <laughs> so there you go. That was my last find. That was everything I got from Trader Joe's during this haul. I also wanted to share with you uh, just a quick Sephora haul. They had their VIB sale and I was really last minute with making some purchases but I wanted to take advantage of 20% off and get some higher end makeup items I had been wanting. Um, one of the things I got that I've never bought the full size of is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. If you watched the video I did with my sister you'll know that I have a little mini sample one I've been working off of and this one is huge. This is the full size. It's rather expensive, but I did get 20% off everything. This is probably going to last me for an entire year. So that's the primer that I used. I grabbed another package of these Peace Out Puffy Eyes. I love these because I literally always wake up with puffy tired eyes. I don't always use something like this, but I more so spare them for like special occasions or when I wanna make sure like I look really good. So I grabbed those. Um, I had heard really good things. Everyone's been raving about the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. So I did get that as well. The actual packaging for it's a little bit different, but it does come with its own little highlighter brush too. So I'm excited to try that out. Love my highlight. I grabbed Hourglass. I've been using more of their products because they are talc free. This is their bronzer. It's the Luminous uh, Bronze Light. I'm not sure, it might be too light for my skin, so I'll have to try that out. If it is, I may need to exchange that at Sephora. And Hourglass stuff is super expensive. And then I grabbed a few different items from Patrick Ta because I really do love the way he applies makeup. I love what he does. I also do love his, um, the, the stuff, the glittery stuff. I have one of those now. I, the name escapes me. Um, but I grabbed a couple things. I got one of his blushes. I love the name of his stuff too. I grabbed a blush and she's adorable. So we'll have to test that out. I love blush. And I also got his blush brush to apply it, so I've got that. And then I got two of his lippies. I got the, um, she's independent, and this is the Silky Lip Cream. And then I also grabbed the Lip Shine in, she's an influencer, how about ya? Um, these do smell like peppermint. I did hear reviews that like, if you don't like peppermint, like some people just have not been loving it for that reason. Do you guys like take care of your boxes? I usually just junk them, I don't really care. Yeah, they both have a very strong peppermint smell. I don't mind them though, I like it. So these are my grabs from the Sephora VIB haul. 
If you guys like seeing the makeup side of things that I love and want me to incorporate it more into maybe not grocery hauls, but other videos, let me know. And that's gonna be it for me in this haul. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, comment below your favorites from either Trader Joe's or Sephora, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.